as you can see right here, there's a wicked deer trail. There's a crossing. There's a class six road back here. And there's a deer crossing right here. Generally, it says does that use this, but Chance and I always use it as a entrance into this area. We found a lot of sheds in here all throughout the years. Didn't matter whether or not there was acorns or not. There's generally a bunch of deer back in here. So I <clears throat> have no idea what bucks may be using this. I have not had cameras in this spot or really hunted it or done anything else for probably three or four years now. I know nothing. Deer trail's still here. The deer are still using it. That's all I know. So we're going to get in here. I do know that there was some moose in here earlier in the sear. So who knows what we might find. As you can probably tell, this is a lot of hemlock and fur in here. And it's always a pretty good spot as far as thermal barrier and all. So that's why the deer use it. There's tons of drop-ins on this trail. So it looks like they were using it during the winter. We're gonna get in here and look at this side today. And at some point we're gonna get and cross the road and get up on the other side. I've only found very few sheds on the other side. So I'm figure out which way the deer are going here. They're heading that way. We, um, we found a deadhead over here a couple years back. A little four point dead head. All right, buddy. We're going to get on this trail and we'll be back with you in a minute. As we're getting in here, I can see that this snow had just melted. I mean, it has not been melted much more than probably two or three days. So you can see here, you got a, an old marking post rub on this black ash. We find quite a bit of those in here, those old market post jobs. The deer use this quite a bit. And when, like I said, when there's acorns, this place is one of my top choices of spots to hunt. So, you know, the oak that's in here is up here quite a bit. <clears throat> probably a quarter of a mile up, if not more. Probably half a mile up. So there's a lot of old rubs in here and this dead stuff. This is always the hardest spot to cross just because it's so wet. But, we've made it across, Chance. We're just kind of following this old trail. I don't know if this is the one that they've been using the most, but still running into a lot of droppings here, so that's a good sign. Good sign that they've been in here this winter, so. Whenever you get in a spot to shed, it's always good to find some indications that they've been wintering in it, because if not, then they probably not a whole lot going on as far as sheds go. Anyways, as you can see around me, it looks like it's more moose country than deer, but not as many moose here as there used to be. All right, well, me and Chance are gonna get looking. So we'll be back with you in just a minute. Well, Chance just found a bone over here. Not the type we want, right there. leg bone shoulder blade and uh, leg bone assembly <laughs> uh, coyotes must have got it drug it down here so I'm sure there's a dead deer here somewhere we're running up through this draw real quick and there's a good crossing at the top and we're gonna go and cut that across and then we're heading down so chance hey let's go good boy good boy finding bones good boy well, that crossing was a bust. We cut down through that whole piece and there wasn't much of nothing. Pretty dead, same with here. This is generally only active when there's acorns and there's some really decent oak trees spread through here. A lot of maple on the side too, but you can see back here is a huge piece of just all oak. It's a good place to find them. Chance found a match set up underneath this stuff one time bed right there and there's a match set of 10 point sheds right there right we found a lot of sheds on this hill this is probably chance's favorite spot to shed hunt this is the first place i ever took him when he was ready to get out when he was just a pup and our first day we found three um, the third being that big 10 point side from that big buck that we ended up naming Hat Trick because it was the third shed we found that day and that was 
back in that first gully that's over here. Um, and then after that, we found a ton more sheds working up through here when there was oak, but uh, when there was acorns, I should say. It's a good mass crop. But in the last two years, there hasn't been much mass crop up here. So we just generally come through and do a run through through here. Three years ago, we came in and we found, and one day I think we found four or five that day. So this year, and they were all good ones too. They were all really nice sheds. This year, I'm not finding a lot of droppings. There's no sign. There's no browse sign or anything. Like I said, I think there was moose in here, but they're going to be over here. So we're dropping down to that level right now, and we're going to cook through there and look and see if we got any sign. And then head back down to the Class 6 road and then to the truck. So we've got until about 8 o'clock to get in and out of here. Yep. So we'll head down and do that. And we'll get back with you if something happens. Chance just took off on me heading this way, so we're gonna come down here and see what he's doing. What'd you find? What do you got? What do you got? What is that? What is it? Holy smokes, that's a big one, huh? That is a big one. Finally, we're on the board, and what a friggin' monster. Uh, good lord, what a beast. What a beast. Look at that. Look at that. That is a big one. It's been sitting here for a while. Go blow hole. Look at that. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. Good job, boy. Nice. Oh, man. That deer's dead. That deer gets shot, not this season, but the season before. That's a lot bigger than he looked in his pictures, I can tell you that. Holy smokes. Nice chance, nice job. I was wondering where his sheds were. Incredible, incredible. Well, before we lose light, I gotta get some pictures of Chance and then we'll get back to it and I'll pick it up and we'll look at it. I think, uh, no, I thought that might be the match right there, but it's not, all right, well. Hold on, we'll get some pictures of Chance. Well, this is one that we were looking for last year, or a year before, excuse me, and we couldn't find. It's definitely, um, well, I'm not gonna say definitely, but pretty much I believe that this is the blowhole nine. Uh, big buck that we had on camera quite a bit, and I was kind of after him. This is a buck that I really wanted to shoot and he got shot last year. I'm pretty sure it's a blowhole nine. It may not be, there may be a different buck that it could be. So I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna look at a bunch of pictures. Either way, it's, it's, a, it's a cocker. It's, it's almost 60 inches, 65 inches, I guess. It's not 70. That, look how long that goes. It goes out. I may actually, that may not be the blowhole nine. I think I may know. This antler may be a lot older than I think it is. So anyways. Finally, on the board, Mr. Chance, he smelt that from quite a ways up. We were just coming through a whole bunch of moose sign uh, from a cow, and we, a cow moose anyways, and we were cutting down this trail. It's a pretty decent trail, and I was going to head that way and cross the fence that way, and he went down over the hill here. There's a big log behind me. I couldn't see where he went. I come down, and I look, and all I could see was tine sticking up and him messing around with it. So, you want it? Any bone? He's a good boy. Here, give me the bone. So, all day we were at fishing game at the uh, Discover Wild today. Saw a billion and a half people. I decided I had to get out and do a little shed hunting. Sometimes these under pressure shed hunting spots can really turn out. This is a quick spot. We've got about 40 minutes left of light, so we're going to have to truck and get out of here. But we're just going to cut down this way along this deer trail, and then we're going to head down the road to the truck so if I don't see you again thanks for watching